Hey, this is Jim. I'm going to kick it off. Good evening, everybody. Then uh, Gary's going to follow up with some other details. I'm just going to cover the East Broad Top. Um, we're a month away from the convention. Everything's going very well, coming together. Looking forward to having everybody in in Pittsburgh. So at the East Broad Top, um, it'll be Tuesday, September the 10th. If you are going on that tour, we will have a Monday, a Monday evening meeting. Um, to review all of the particulars, but uh, top to bottom here, we're going to have three steam trains, 10 a.m., 12.30 p.m., 3 p.m. Um, we do have three buses. You will be broken into three groups um, to, to ride the trains. Also, uh, opposite, if you're not riding the train, you'll be on a guided tour, 10 a.m., 11.30 a.m., and 1 p.m. Uh, newly added is the M1 we were able to uh, secure the M1 for two departures at 11.30 and 2 p.m. Those are very limited seats. Um, I think we have something like 20 seats available. Um, I have to check the exact number, but uh, we will be filling those seats Monday night at the meeting. Um, also available are the M3 and the speeders. They will be going as far south as they can go. Um, that'll be on demand from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. So if you're on your lunch hour or there's some free time, uh, $10 cash donation will take you south. If you've been following the East Broad Top Facebook page at all, you know that they're across 475 and on their way to Jordan Summit and to the next crossing. So you might be able to cross 475, one of the early uh, folks across the newly established crossing. Um, the archives will be open. Uh, Julie, the lead archivist, uh, will have some materials out and she's uh, she's gonna give a presentation on the, uh, the EBT archives. So all in all, um, it's going to be a great day. Um, the highlight of the day, we have two things, which will be the highlight. Uh, we, will, we were able to negotiate and confirm two cab rides. So that will be pulled uh, by random draw the hat, draw the luck on Monday night. And two folks will be able to get a cab ride doing your uh, steam charter tour. And secondly, um, I did ride the M1 about three weeks ago when I talked to the chief uh, mechanical officer, Dave Dimitrovich, about the convention. And he says he has surprises up his sleeve and he will not tell me what that is. So I don't know if we're going to have Santa Claus there to hand out goodies to everybody or some special folks coming in for presentations or for uh, for meet and greets. But Dave said he definitely has some surprises for the convention on Tuesday, September the 10th. So looking forward to it. It's going to be a full day. And I um, hope you're signed up because it's going to be a, a unique experience on the East Broad Top that day. So thank you, and uh, we will. I will see you in Pittsburgh in four weeks, and I'm going to turn it over to Gary now. Hi, good evening, everyone. Glad you're all here. Hopefully, we can answer all your burning questions for you, and I'll start off with answering one of Robin's. And if you guys would like to have your know, off the beaten tracks meeting live, you are more than welcome to do that. At the convention, we do have room set aside for such things. So if you'd like to post uh, that, you're more than welcome to do that. Robin. No, thing? okay. <laughs> Just let us know, we'll set you up. So uh, a couple of things on the schedule. If, uh, all right, uh, starting Monday, um, for all you guys that are gonna be in town uh, and our vendor and modular layout setups are gonna start at noon on Monday. And so if you wanna do that, if you're there and you go get your, go get checked in, uh, we're gonna have uh, dedicated doors for whichever group you have to be in, happen to be in in the main vendor hall. Um, if you want an updated vendor map, whether you're a vendor or not, just get a hold of one of us and we'll get it over to you because there has been a lot of changes. Uh, we'll also get you an updated hotel map which sh shows all the vendor suites and 
clinic rooms, model contest, uh, the Martin Welberg room, et cetera. So if you want that stuff, just uh, email us uh, from the website and we'll get right back to you on that. Monday evening, there will be an East Broad Top informational meeting. So for all you guys that are going, uh, try to get over there and we'll get everybody up to speed on what's going on, the bus situation and what you can expect on the tour and coming back. Uh, Tuesday is the tour. It's also uh, when Martin Welberg starts his uh, one and a half day hands-on clinic, which is uh, completely sold out. So unless somebody uh, drops out at the last second, was, we're only going to watch that from the hall. So that's all done, wrapped up. He will be doing two other uh, regular clinics during the convention. So you can you know, go check that out if you, if you want to do that. And Wednesday, we get, you know, that's full kickoff. Uh, we, we have adjusted our schedule a little bit, so we are starting earlier. And we will have clinics going on in the morning. So for all you guys that are there, you'll have something to do. And uh, we're shutting down a little early. Uh, our vendor hall hours are probably open longer than, well, they will be open longer than, than the other Wednesdays at other conventions. So there'll be, you know, plenty of time for that. Uh, the model contest uh, clinics will be going on all day. And then we're going to have a, an evening presentation by Lynn Modiger, and he's going to talk a little bit about these broad top, be cash bar or derv, stuff like that. So we can all hang out and you know, rub elbows and catch up on all our war stories. And after that, I mean, it's just regular convention stuff, uh, home layouts. Um, the J and L will be open all day on Thursday. I know there's we've sold a ton of those all day passes, so there's a bunch of guys going over for that. And so if you want to, you know, you can't get enough full smoke, you can go over there and take care of that over there. And then Friday is the Steam Locomotive Engineer Program. He does a fantastic job, so I believe that is sold out. If there was enough interest, I'm sure he'd open a couple extra slots. But again, but you're more than welcome to go over and watch. So if you want to go do that, you're more than capable of doing that. So in Saturdays, pretty typical. Um, you know, if you got to get your you know last fix over in the model contest room, make sure you go get that in. And then usual Saturday night stuff. So uh, I'm I'm sure all you guys have heard by now that uh, Al Judy recently passed away. Um, was sick and in the hospital, but um, he was still hell bent on getting to the convention. And that was right up until a couple of days before he passed. So <laughs> we're trying to recover from that and you know, pick up those pieces and get all that stuff taken care of. We are going to introduce here the first annual Al Judy Memorial Award. So that will be introduced here. And we're, our goal is to uh, continue that uh, after this convention. And uh, for those of you that knew Al, I mean, he just, he had a different approach to, to the hobby. Uh, could care less about any of that standard gauge crap. So, or narrow gauge for that matter. <laughs> he, just, he didn't like the real thing, but you know, when it comes to modeling, he just, he had a different approach and, uh, you know, we'd like to recognize that. And so, uh, you know, for those of you who are staying there, you know, kind of expect that. Uh, we are working on uh, having his wife there so she can be a part of that. And I'm going to kind of leave it at that. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, I'm sure we did not cover everything that there is to cover, but if you have any questions, uh, you know, let us know. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you in about 30 days.